What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Vatrix, bringing y'all part three of Hitman 2. So we're going to continue right where we left off when we finished um, the second mission, the finish line last time. So I noticed that it's like a mission, cinematic, mission, cinematic, mission, cinematic. So we're going to check out the next cinematic before we begin the mission. Let's do it. Dead ends. Berlin. Shanghai, Montreal, we're bleeding operatives, panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And, and you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadow boxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. Interesting. If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Wow, pretty interesting cinematic. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Dead ends, huh? We got a guy who goes and strikes without fear and disappears into the night after. <laughs> interesting. So, we got a mission called Three Headed Serpent that we're about to go check out. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, 
PR guru Andrea Martinez, and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado Logistics Network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, oh. three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. <laughs> Sounds like your typical Columbia crime lord. It's always with cocaine. All right, let's read about him for a little bit. So we got three targets. Rico Delgado. Any method, any disguise. Let's see. Supremely successful family-based drug cartel based in Colombia. Um, Rico uses his ruthless nature and personal charm to sway the minds of adversaries and partners alike. Um, grew up with his younger brother, Hector. And he did the business in the early 90s. He was chosen to be a successor of his father. Uh, cracked down hard on the cartels. Rico had to flee to the family estate with his mother and younger brother when the military started bombing the compound. It's just days later. His father was dead in those papers. Wow. Let's see. Mother's relatives in Santiago and spending summers with his uncle, Fernando, who ran the infamous Delgado cartel. It was an old vineyard. Rico did. Columbia home to rebuild his family's empire. Interesting. Wow. So occasional assistance of his younger brother Hector. Um, Delgado's connections and old smugglers are building a network from the ground up. Interesting. Let's see what Jorge got to say. Jorge Franco. Was born in Santiago. The time in Chile was slowly starting to make real progress as a country and society. Foreign languages, um, government, domestic abuse. Wow. Wow, so his father was really abusive. Probably not going to be stereotypical, but probably might have been an alcoholic. Not trying to be stereotypical, though. Okay, um, siblings are crossing the border into Argentina. Let's see, Franco, never quite sure. How his mother managed to get them into the U.S. Oh, so they slipped in undetected. Interesting. I like to read these stories for some reason. They just interest me. Graduating in the 80s. A natural science, chemistry focus. Uh, graduated college. They didn't say what college, though. T oh, he taught at high school? Interesting. Okay. Last one. Andrea Martinez. Coatthroat former marketer, executive, now working for the Delgado Empire. Hmm. Youngest child, the head of Chilean car cocaine cartel. She was 14. It was determined she was sent to study abroad while her older brothers were to take over the family business. Wow, studying abroad at 14, interesting. It's always the smart one, guys. It's always the smart ones. That always end up doing the dumbest things with their talent. <laughs> but you already know what time it is. Let's go do this. Let's go do this. It's always the smart ones, man. Always the smart ones. They have the most talent growing up, and then they want to get into like the drug game, the easy fast life cash game, and just end up wasting their talents, man. It's a shame we gotta take them out. Just like with that last family with Sierra Knox and Robert Knox, they had good ass potential. It's a shame we had to take them out because they started using their talents for their own personal gain. 47, let's rock, let's do our job. Welcome to Columbia, 47. Columbia? The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. 
Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so I'm trying to think who's the closest. It looks like from this area, I can't really read out his name. But I think we're going to go after him first. So this will be good. Oh, Rico's first. What? Not being stealthy. Look at me. Oh. Alright. So we're going to do it. So we're going to go here. We're going to duck down. We're going to pull out our weapon. See what this is. Use the door knocker. Notice how nobody's answering. Yep, nobody came to answer. messing around let me see what I can do all right let's go switch back to the gun real quick yep let's go Of course, you always need a key card. All right, let's go around over here. That was close. That was close. All right, so he's there. We have another suspect there. So we got our two suspects so far. Andrea? All right, let's keep it moving. Suspect there. Let's get this done.
There we go. Okay, let's put this in a locker. Or better yet. Oh, I can't fit in there. Yep, let's just dump it in here. Perfect. All right. He has no clue. Hmm. An underground cave system with a submarine. This must be what ties the militia and the cartel together, 47. Let's see. If I can just find, so he's on the very top. If I can just make my way up to the top, we should be good. Huh. Don't try anything stupid, sir. I won't. Okay, you're playing with fire now, dipshit. What did I do? What the hell are you, buddy? You think I'm some asshole you can mess around with? We got a mind on my own. What, what, what? Uh. Let's go. Here comes Rico, guys. That is Rico Delgado, head of the Delgado drug cartel. Hey, Rico. What's happening? Let's go. Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. There we go. Perfect. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I need one of their um suits. Oh, Rico's coming this way. That's even better. So he's got one guard on him. We got two approaching there. We got him. Okay. Do a little distraction real quick. All right. Nobody's around either. Come on. Let's go. Yep. All right, let's turn back on this generator.
Yep. That is Jorge Franco, the Delgado Cartel's chief chemist. What else we got? Copy command. Still looking. No sign of the perp. Man, you read me. I want to take his body out, but. You're not following me. But you know what? Come here. Where is he? Where's Jorge? So he's right up he's right over there. Let me see something real quick. Alright, let's go to Jorge guys. Never find me. Find a freaking gringo. You will never find me. almost too good I was about to say Jorge's alone too but he's not even alone you know what oh that sounded like it hurt I just need to get Jorge outside if I can do that we'll be Gucci I can't imagine just sitting there making drugs all day, guys. <laughs> I could not imagine having that profession. All right, so he's right in front of us. What? We made the right choice to mix them with the Amazonian strain. Bro, he is just right there. He is right here. We found a witness. Where is the mierda? Someone took out his friend. 
Franco confirmed down. Nice work. I guess that's one way to do it, guys. I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> and Andrea is not too far away, it looks like. So I'm gonna just hide in here for a little bit until the heat goes down. Yep, see we got a guard there. Uh, this is gonna be a little difficult. Let me see if I can do this real quick. Okay. Go up here. She would know. Rico was a little hang around, baby brother, you know? Andrea and Rico were always super tight, but only as friends. I can't really imagine Hector and Martinez being an item. Well, from what I understand, it Get him out of here. Yep, right in here. Yep. Let's go back down here. Hola. Hey, you there? Boss huh. boy. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey. Why aren't you listening to me? Are you dead or something? Stop! No! That was too close. That was way too close. She got money just laying around.
Interesting office setup, 47. If I'm not mistaken, Rico's looking to add some tattoo work to his already substantial collection. <laughs> the whole thing which is weird to me guys I don't know I'm trying to just blend in you know live my life Just trying to live my life. <laughs> All right, Andrea, where are you? She's up top. Let's go. Of course I need a key or a crowbar. Things that I do not have. I want to go through that door so, you know what? Duh. Wait for him. Come on. Yep. Hey, what? Holy God. You must be messed up in the head. Messing someone's. What? go let's go I don't know how I just survived that guys but it worked it worked of course I don't still have I still don't have a key card she is just right there you know what she got two guards on her. So I'm trying to figure out how do I want to do this. You know what? Should I just go for the spray? Oh, I didn't even see them too. Can I just act and like move along like I'm one of them? Yep, that worked perfectly. I need to get her. She's the last target. Okay, so she's coming up the stairs too. Alright, so here's how we're going to do this. You guys are ready? I'm about to do something really risky. In three, two, one. All targets neutralized. This Let's go. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. Let's go. 
Yep. There we go. There we go, guys. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we did it. We did it. And that's how you do it, guys. Let's go. Fifteen thousand XP, tactical strike. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'll see you guys in part four. Love you guys. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.